Hi ladies, today I'd like to share with you how I created this look, I call my Pleats of Plenty look, and my variation, the Pleated Veil Wrap. I'm starting out with the Cranberry in maroon from Rapunzel. I'm gonna take it off. It has two sides, it has a beautiful maroon color, and then this lovely turquoise and gold, you'll see. Take it off for you. It's very simple wrap, lots of dramatic pleats. I'm going to start by placing my scarf on my head, fully open at a diagonal. I want both tails to be even. And a diagonal. I'm going to bring the tails over my shoulders. It makes it easier for me to bring up the back because I am not going to fold this. I'm going to bring up just so, fold up enough scarf so that the, as you can see, this back just touches the bottom of my shaper. Put both tails behind me. I'm going to crisscross in the back, no knots. It'll make it too bulky in the back. This is good for lessening pressure at the nape of the neck. Just adjust this to cover the shaper. All right, so I'm gonna start on the side that the shaper is still showing. I'm going to flip the scarf so that I'm pleating with the green showing. Now pleating is a lot easier than you think. I'll move over a little bit. Sorry, I'm in a small space. I take the scarf and I hold it out and I'll fold over the top just a, just a little bit, maybe an inch, inch and a half and adjust so you have a flat fold at the top. Now your scarf will tell you where it wants to bunch, as you can see, where it wants a pleat. So you just follow what your scarf wants. And I grab, grab the end here and pull up and pinch between my fingers. So it looks like this. I will continue all the way down, just grabbing and pinching. Now you can run your fingers in the in between the folds to make sure they stay crisp now this one I'm going to fold with the trim showing so you'll see I'm going to flip it Flip the whole thing over, being careful to pinch tight to keep all my folds in place. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it up and around. Now you see this is a, a mess. It doesn't always lay properly the first time, so it's a little fussy. Don't be afraid to fuss with it. And search for your original, your first pleat. There's your second, there is your third, here is the fourth, and here is the fifth pleat. This back piece won't be seen. But it's nice to just get it to lay flat. I'm going to bring this around and tuck it as best you can in the back. If you'd like to pin it, you can put a, a pin in there, but once you grab hold of the second tail, it sort of stays in place, as you can see. And you have, you can fuss with these pleats to make them much more even. And bring them forward 
to hide the rest of the shaper. All right, now my second tail, I'm going to bring up and I wanna showcase the maroon side on this side. So I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, the same pleating. Trying to keep my thumb and finger out of the way so you can see what I'm actually doing. Pinching, I'm going to come around the front and using this grip, spin my tail and bring it up and over. All right, again, you see I have all these pleats, but this is a mess. Just do the same thing on this side that I did on the other by adjusting the pleats. Bring this piece forward. Here's pleat number two. Pleat number three is hiding, but we can pull him out. Here's pleat number four and pleat number five. Now this piece, I'm just wrapping around the back and I'm going to tuck it securely into the, into the back channel of this scarf, of the second, second tail. Okay, now this side, I'm going to take this piece of sticking out. I'm just going to tuck it in. To give it a tighter, neater look and adjust my folds, my pleats. So perfect pleats do not happen by accident. They are planned. You can continue to fuss with the pleats even after you've wrapped and tucked. So you see, And this look is my pleats a plenty look. Now for the second look, we'll go right into it. I'm just going to take this second tail down. We're leaving this pleated section. It was done exactly the same. I originally did this with another scarf, the Marrakesh in purple, but it looks pretty with this one as well. So for this look, I just open up the scarf again just like an, any other veil, and I will bring it up and over. Now you can showcase this trim and adjust and give it, put the pin in, or you can give it, pull it back off. You can fold that down. So you have more to show the burgundy. Bring it over. And have the burgundy shown. Now this piece can adjust. and you'd pin it here, but I like the look with the trim showing. 
So again, the short end. I forgot to say that we're using the short side of this tail and leaving the long to dangle in the back. All right, and here is the pleated veil look. Thanks, ladies. I hope you enjoyed.